In this video, I'm gonna show you a really simple pressure that I like to use out of Big Nickel over G, just to kind of come out and get a feel for what my opponent wants to do. Now this is the SSLB Blitz 1 or SSLB Blitz in the Big Nickel defense. If you guys are looking to learn the entire formation, I think Big Nickel is the most versatile and adaptable defense in Madden 23. So if you wanna learn how I run it and how I recommend you run it, make sure you join our Patreon. There's gonna be a link in the description below where you can sign up for just uh, 10 bucks and it'll get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. We've also included uh, in the Patreon a complete defensive ebook based on the match coverage, uh, match coverages, different match defenses that you can run. We teach you the rules of how all those work and how you can adjust those. If you want to check that out, again, it's all in the Patreon. I do believe Big Nickel is the best defense in the game to run match from because it has all of the match coverages that you need and it also has the ability to have incredible run defense and phenomenal phenomenal pressure which is what we're going to show you in this video so how do we like to run this well this is a really really good blitz for a lot of different situations i think it's one of the better bunch blitzes in the game and uh, we're going to show you how it works so strong safety lb blitz is the play and the setup is we're just going to pinch our defensive line uh, we're going to go ahead and press or show blitz. Now, you will see in this example here that the tight end is kind of misaligned. Um, we don't necessarily want that guy on the left side guarding the tight end. So what we want to do here is we want to go ahead and show blitz. And what you'll see is we want to take that, that uh, safety on the left side. And we just want to man him up on to the running back. And then we're going to basically kind of read the tight end. If the tight end blocks... We're gonna go guard um, the middle of the field. If the tight end, or uh, yeah, if the tight end goes out on a route, then we're gonna kind of try to get lurky uh, with this tight end, with this tight end route right here, which we'll show you. So, as you'll see right here, this is a six-man pressure. I'm gonna go ahead and block my running back, and what you'll see is we'll just come out here to the tight end, and you see we're gonna get some crazy gap pressure at the quarterback. Now, again, the setup for this is really simple. All we're doing is we're just pinching our line, crashing our line down. I like to globally blitz my linebackers and to contain. And then you just want to make sure that you take that safety and man him up onto the tight end because that way, or uh, the running back, because that way, you know, if they block the running back, you'll see what he'll do. He'll kind of play like a robber in the middle, and you'll be able to, again, that make that lurk on the tight end really helpful. Now, let's say that they block their tight end which will just kind of create our own little method of blocking the tight end. So if they do block the tight end uh, in this in this, and they send the running back out on a route, I want to show you how the blitz is going to work. Um, we typically are still able to get some pressure with this. So you see here I'm going to block my running back and we're going to get some A-gap pressure from the linebacker. So the blitz is going to come in whether they block a running back or uh, whether they block a tight end. And then if they're going to block both a running back and a tight end or if they're going to max protect their concept here, I will say that this can be a little bit tricky um, in just in terms of, of how this works. Uh, but basically, let me get my linebacker back where he's supposed to be as we're getting some misalignments here. Uh, but anyways, what you should see is a lot of times that, that guy that's coming through the B-gap will get a quick shed animation. Obviously, we don't use this blitz for Max Protect. There's other blitzes in our big nickel defense that we do. This is kind of just a basic little pressure that we can run. Now, another way that you can run this play is you could use her, this left side guy and basically say, okay, well, we're going to have everybody manned up and we're just going to send the five man. And the five man uh, is pretty decent as well. Uh, here against Bunch, we're going to have a little bit of a challenge just because of the way the formation like rubs blitzers this year is actually really, really interesting. Um, but... You know, you can you can certainly try to use her this guy right here. You'll see that that way um, a lot of times the alignment will kind of fix itself. And then what you'll see is if they send five out, a lot of times you'll have that slot corner coming off of the left side or off of the right side to be able to get the pressure at the quarterback. So it could be just as simple as literally just pressing your coverage um, or showing blitz here. Got to get these guys to kind of, if they're ever having any issues with the man coverage, then you can just, you know, fix it. Uh, but anyways, you know, this right here is a real simple way to run it as well. It's a good, you know, kind of a five-man blitz coming. And then that way, um, you know, then once they start to block the running back, then it could literally be as simple as this. I mean, 
You could do something like this. It's actually really, really good. You could just send the safety and man that linebacker up on the tight end. So now we're going to send both safeties. we got good man coverage, and you see that we're going to be able to just force them to have to max protect. And then once they start to max protect, then we can start to do some of our other blitzes, which we talk about in the ebook, which are really, really, really good, um, you know, against max protect type of situations. You will see here, this is a, uh, a little bit of a block running back, and you see we're still able to scream at it. So there's a couple different ways to run the blitz. It's real simple. Um, you know, you could literally just come out in the play. I just would want to advise you, you know, if you, if you, I mean, you could put this linebacker on a hard flat. He'll stop the tight end flat. You're lurking on the running back. If the running back stays in, you have a lot of freedom. And with big nickel, you're going to get the best sheds in the game. So really simple little blitz here. Again, I would really encourage you to jump in the Patreon to learn the whole defense. When you start to put everything together with this defense, it's really, really, really hard to score uh, against this because the pressure is so, so good. And the run defense from it is the best run defense in the game. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn our Big Nickel Over G defensive ebook, make sure that you go down to the description and click the link down below to join the Patreon. Thanks for watching, and hopefully we'll see you guys over at the Patreon page.